Navidad, feliz Navidad, feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you oh uh, there you are. Um I've been thinking about my new entry for the uh, Christmas Ornament Challenge sponsored by Alan and Carl but uh, basically after seeing uh, so many excellent entries in the playlist uh, actually I sort of ran out of ideas so I don't know it's tough uh, what I'm going to do what I'm going to do well, I'm... Oh, wait a minute. That's an idea. A champagne bottle. A champagne bottle ornament. What do you think? Shall we try it? There you go. Cheers. <laughs> oh. This is bitter. I'm black. Uh, anyway, a word about safety. Always uh, follow the procedures in your operation manuals. Be very careful when you are operating tools that uh, rotate or move at great speeds and also that have sharp edges. And always protect your lines and your face uh, from the dust and the chips uh, that are generated from these tools. And never ever you operate these machines if you are impaired in any way. So, safe turning. I made all the perforations and uh, I'm going to begin with the threading process now and uh, basically uh, what I'm going to try to do is use this uh, relief uh, tool to uh, make a hole in the back there probably about uh, I don't know maybe the double the size of the teeth there um, to provide relief when I am making the, the thread and also I am going to chamfer this entrance uh, to begin the, the threading process so over there you can see is the relief cut and uh, I have established a small chamfer here uh, to initiate the threading process and for what I saw from the videos of Sam Angelo um, the Wyoming wood turner basically what you have to do is sort of establish a rhythm and uh, begin uh, sort of a, like a 45 degree angle and work it that way and then begin to uh, tilt the tool uh, more and more parallel to the direction of the axis of the blank until you finally uh, work uh, the thread Uh, that should work. Uh, I'm going to work now on the back there 
to shape uh, the interior part of the of the bottle. The next step is to reduce uh, this section here, which is uh, between two and seven eighths uh, of an inch from the mouth to about three and three quarters of an inch. So that's uh, two and seven inches, and this is uh, three and three quarters. So I have to reduce this to a sternal diameter of uh, one inch and one eighth. That section there, the one that uh, is marked in black, this one here, and all this section here, I had to reduce to half an inch. And I had to leave a little bit more, uh, about uh, five eighths of an inch for this one. Uh, in the presentation, the order was that I first re reduced this one to half an inch, and this one to half an inch, and then this one to five eighths. But I think what I'm going to do is basically reduce everything to uh, 5 eighths and then uh, make the small uh, section here and all this section. Okay, uh, this is going to be the neck of the bottle and uh, there is going to be a small bead there which is uh, the top of the of the neck where the cork uh, is uh, inserted and I'm going to reduce uh, this small portion there just a little bit uh, to simulate uh, the one part of the of the cork uh, okay <clears throat> so I have to reduce this to half an inch I'm going to place the conic uh, life center here because there is a chamfer it's going to make contact basically there so it, it shouldn't have too much um, of a problem damaging the, the thread and uh, that way I'm going to have more stability What I want is uh, to make this core first which is going to be he from here to this point here and then I'm going to turn uh, the inflection of that curve and go all the way uh, to the neck of the bottle uh, so this is marking the point of inflection of the of the curve and uh, that's going to happen right there Okay, I have uh, the shape pretty much uh, defined and uh, now it's a question only of uh, sanding and uh, finishing. This is the body of the bottle uh, with the thread there and uh, that one here so I had to turn a small tap uh, for, for the cork.
Hi. Okay. Uh, basically, I have uh, finished uh, the base. As you can see, it has a small uh, recess there, and I have this uh, balloon light. And you can turn it on by turning uh, the back part there, and you place it over there in that place on the base. And then basically you connect the uh, body of the of the bottle and you twist it and there you have it. This is uh, the completed bottle. Let me show you. Okay, uh, this is uh, the final result of the champagne bottle ornament. Uh, I put an uh, eye screw on the top here and already has uh, the lights inside. Uh, you can see the effect. Of the bubbles. Uh, it has a couple of balloon lights inside. They are a bit uh, too bright. I am trying to get uh, ones that are more like yellow to simulate uh, the champagne bubbles going up in the bottle. And uh, it has uh, a screw cap at the bottom. It's a bit tight, uh, but basically you can unscrew it. And there you have the, the two lamps. Uh, you can use it with one lamp. It has a recess for one lamp, or you can put the other one on the side if you want more light. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy the turning and uh, the result of the champagne bottle uh, ornament. And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers!